Jim Carrigan and his ancestors come here often. My grandmother was the last uh, uh, full blood of the tribe. If the walls of Natural Bridge could talk, they would tell a terrible story. They were aware of it. They, would have been, they wouldn't have been here, you know. There wouldn't have been a massacre. They would have been gone, you know. It was April 23, 1852. Trinity County Sheriff William Dixon and a posse of about 69 men set out for retribution. A well-known cattleman had been murdered, and the sheriff suspected Native Americans. Oh, should I say for a scapegoat or find a guilty party? And they had to have somebody accountable, you know. History doesn't tell us if there were witnesses or an investigation into the murder, but newspaper accounts tell us the sheriff's posse surprised the Wintu outside the natural bridge. And the men and women were, were killed and shot. It was a massacre. Numbers vary, but anywhere from 150 to 300 Wintu were murdered. They were a part of a defenseless hunting party, mostly women and children. Not a single white man died. Grandmother's great uncle, you know, he was, he was a survivor. Just a few children escaped to tell the story and warn others to run. They weren't even given proper burials. Just for years in the dirt, you know, there'd be rib cages or skulls. Today, the U.S. Forest Service manages the natural bridge and the land around it. A bronze plaque tells the Win 2 story, and a sacred pine bears a shrine of offerings for those lost. The whole idea of uh, people being respect to, respect to the area and offering something. The sad truth of this now public land is that not all offerings are respectful. I like coming here, but another way it's kind of haunting too, you know. So it's necessary to come here and uh, make the connection. Making a connection. That's what Jim and the Wintu tribe hopes visitors walk away with. I don't know if it so much shapes the tribe. It's just a wound in their, in their, in their history, you know. Respectfully, from Natural Bridges just outside of Hayfork, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.